she said she felt deeply for all she chose. I understand that many of us. Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Sorry, I was a little bit confused there. I was being a bloke and not being able to do two things at once, like stand up and remember what day it is. Uh, yeah, we're just watching, well, actually watching about some UN stuff now, but another hurricane heading over towards the Dominican Republic at the minute, exactly the same track as, they, uh, as was Irma, the last one. So, not good, not good. Anyway, going to have some coffee, listen to the rest of this. And then, well, I suppose we'll have to go to work, won't we? Yeah, we'll have to go. Moving on. Hi hey guys, I don't know if you can hear this, but that tree is full of birds, all waiting to fly away for the winter. And where Michelle looks this morning, I think she wishes she could fly away for winter. <laughs> Still feeling a little bit delicate. Let's get to work. Quite pleasant driving this morning. Are you, are you fit to? For to continue. Yeah, I don't have much of a choice, really. No, you don't. You need to go into work and suffer, but when I catch it, you need to look after me. You need to let me lie open. and generally phone you and make you come home and make me soup. And stuff. Because you know, once I get it, you really will start suffering. As yet, I'm not showing any signs, so... I think it were coming down on the the side of stomach bog hour. I yeah, I think so. I mean, it's last. If it was, because you're not eating for 24 hours, have you? Mm -mm. So it should really. Well, 48 hours to clear out your your system. Yeah. So if it's still continuing after 48 hours. Then we need to think about it again. Yeah. But with that, just get back something. With that, it's pass over to Michelle so she can go to work and be miserable. The stomach bug. Moving on. Hey guys, that's the Tuesday working day over with. Now we've had a bit of a bad news today, a bit of bad customer services. Services. So help. We've been let down. Um, a tumble dryer blew up. Again. The burning's gone. <laughs> the you. burning's gone and it's seized up and it snapped the belt. So I'm not shipping it down again, bearing in mind that last time I shipped that thing down I ended up in hospital. Michelle forbids me to put my hand in a tumble dryer again. Because I'm not allowed to waste NHS time, am I? And we don't think we've bought the plastic and stirring strips yet for the stitch me back together, have we? Anyway, moving on, bad customer service. We ordered a tumble dryer, we paid for it to be delivered and two days before it's coming, considering that Michelle took time off work, not specifically for that, but she's taking time off work for two things, one was the delivery of tumble dryer, and the other was to install the Nest thermostat system uh, to the house, and what we got today was a message that, I'm sorry, we can't deliver that tumble dryer to you because it's out of stock, but it's been on order for 10 days. So, Michelle, using her professional skill, expediting skills, has phoned this company up and managed to get a replacement tumble dryer. Uh, cost worth more, well, cost more, don't say it's worth more. Uh, we ordered exactly the same tumble dryer as we had, it's lasted eight years. It's on constantly. Lasted eight years, it fits in the hole. We don't need to mess about measuring or anything. Um, yeah, that happened. Excuse me. So, you've managed to upset these people. Yeah. Well, the woman. 
woman on the phone was lovely. She was. She, she was apologetic. We've got like I say, most a more expensive. I've just got the, the email through to tell me about it. Um, we've got a more expensive tumble dryer for the same cost as the one we paid for. We've got an AM delivery slot for Friday that we've not had to pay for, um, which would have been twenty quid. Um, so I mean, it's just. I just think it's a poor show that we ordered something that was in stock 10 days ago and I paid for it and now it's not coming. What a ride too. It's all the profit gone, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, there you go, Michelle. I'm not going to tell you the company is because it's pointless really. But it's a delivery company that everybody knows. Advertise on the TV. But, I mean, it's it's one of these things, and it does happen. It happens to me a lot at work for work stuff, and you know, it's just it's just disappointing. That's all. Well, at least you use your professional skills that you learn to work. <laughs> yeah. That the company's paid to train you for. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah. And you know what? When you was on the phone, I bet everybody thought you were you was chasing a job. I saw somebody did up until the point they heard me say the word stumble dryer. <laughs> oh well, moving on. Hello. official report that Michelle's feeling okay again. She at your tea, didn't you? Mm -hmm. You feeling all right? She's now playing games before she does a ISO 11 update. iOS 11 update, I meant to say. Because you find out that it will disable all your 32-bit. Turns out I only have one 32-bit app anyway. Did you find out if you got a 32-bit app? Um you go into the settings about and then you click on the applications thing and it actually tells you okay so what you're going to lose um the cleaning up timer that i've got all right well that's not a big loss is it because you can download a new one 64 bit so yeah 19th is september today isn't it that is the day the new uh, iOS 11 update comes out. I've not leaked it yet. Uh, no doubt it'll get pushed to us shortly. Uh, well, anyway, that's it. It's Monday night. I'm just about to watch this program. I'll probably I'm a bit tired, so I'll just put it on record. It's about Alaska, a year, a year in Alaska. The reason I started watching this, I saw David Suchet's tweet earlier where he's saying that is one of the best programs he's ever narrated got it on mute in a minute but like I said I'm recording it so I'll give it a watch but with that I think it's time that we called it on the vlog so it's a good night from me and it's a good night from him good night see you all in the morning <laughs>